Embryo transfer is the last procedure in the IVF process. We've cultured the embryos for three to five days in the laboratory, and we've chosen one or more embryos as being the best ones to transfer back to the uterus. Therefore, expertly performed embryo transfer is critical for the best chance of success. Even with the highest quality embryos, there's a low chance for success if we put them in the wrong location or if there is trauma to the uterine lining during the procedure. Embryo transfer catheters are two-part devices. There's an outer sheath, which is stiffer, and an inner catheter, which is very soft and flexible. The embryos are loaded into the inner catheter, which is placed through the outer sheath. The stiff outer sheath helps guide the inner catheter through the curvy cervical canal to the proper location in the middle of the cavity. Now let's load embryos into the catheter under the microscope. The IVF dishes are labeled with at least two identifiers. For this demonstration, we have labeled the dish with patient name and IVF-13-number number. This would be the patient's SART number, which is a unique identifier given to each patient when they begin their stimulation. We have two unfertilized eggs that we're going to use like our embryos for this demonstration of embryo transfer. You can see the unfertilized eggs at the red arrow. The embryo transfer catheter comes in, picks up the two embryos, then we lift up out of the drop of media and pick up a tiny bit of air and we do the transfer. Let's watch an ultrasound guided embryo transfer. 